What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, today we're looking for a new mailbox. Bass Pro Shops to look for the one that I'm looking for. I'm looking for a certain one. Really the one that looks like a bass or that topwater lure. Here we are, Bass Pro Shops. Bass Pro Shops making Georgia. They got like a little pool out here or something for kayaks. That's pretty neat. All right, so thought about hit that car on my door. We're looking for that bass mailbox and anything else we may want. So I was just informed that they don't have the mailbox. So let's look around, see if I can find anything I want, because it's almost a waste of trip if I don't. Okay guys, so just got back from Bass Pro Shops. Didn't get the mailbox because apparently I don't sell the mailboxes in store anymore. I have to order it offline, which really sucks because I wanted a big bass mailbox. But I did get something else that I said I never would get, and um, I just Swallowed the pill, bit the bullet, and got one. So check this out. A daggum Yeti lawn chair. But uh, yeah, you don't want to know the price tag of this at all. This is uh, was not cheap. Of course, anything Yeti is not cheap. I'm gonna open it up. Okay. All right, there she is. All set up. Looks good. I like this color. Uh, it's actually really easy to set up. It's just got this little handle right here in the back. You just grab it, pull it up, and it actually folds right up, and you just put it right back in the bag. Got a little cup holder right here. Just a minute. Oh, it's got some advertising stuff and a sticker. Heck yeah. I mean, when you buy a dang 100, 100 and something dollar lawn chair, I mean, whatever this is supposed to be called i mean you got to get a sticker for it very soft very soft it's got like a little attachment where you can put more attachments to it if you buy like uh, stuff off their website if you can put a table right here that actually be pretty cool i might check that out golly got the sun in my face but other than that she bad I'll take this thing to the beach with me in a couple weeks take it to some ball fields ball games get the dang sun out of my face good lord I like it. I like it. I'll give it a look for the price. The, the price of it, I'm going to give it like a grade. I'm going to give it an F. That's that's way too expensive for the money I paid for it. It was like $300. I mean, that's ridiculous for that chair. But um, how comfortable it is and sturdy, you know, I'm going to give it an A. I'm going to give it an A plus. But durability, I don't know yet. Looks, I'm going to give it a let me get a A minus on looks. I mean, it could look a little better. We didn't get the mailbox, but it's all good. We got a beach chair that just got to take a mortgage out, mortgage out for. So, all right, guys. I think that's probably it for the video. Well, hold on one second. Actually, I want to show you guys something real quick. This is really cool. So, this right here, this is like my wall of like trophies and things that I've collected. It's not full. I have a lot more stuff that I have collected, and that's just super valuable over time. But uh, I'd like to show you, like, these are all my high school trophies when I fished when I was little in high school and middle school. Um, this is a daggum, one of my most vintage baits that I have. This is a Storm, Storm Original Wiggle Warp. This sucker right here, you can see, it's still got the Sears tag on it and everything. Like, that joker is, that joker is nice. Like, let me see if I can get a better, let's see if I can get you guys a better look at it real quick. Turns the camera around. Okay, so you, okay, so yeah, you can see it still says Sears on it. I mean, it's got the price on it and everything. I mean, it's just the packaging is immaculate. It looks great. You know, it's kind of like a chartreuse orange color. It's got a little bit of rash on it from the packaging, but never been open. The Joker right there, OG son. Um, got the newspaper I was in when I got invited to the NPFL. My fishing journal. We got Scott Martin's Bassmaster Classic Cinco. Some of you may have seen this from TikTok. This is the Cinco that he caught like a three and a half pounder on at the Bassmaster Classic. He skipped it under a dock and one ate it. You can see it in his YouTube video and, and my YouTube video for the Bassmaster Classic. That's really cool. I got it. Um, yep, I uh, got one of the first ever. This is 
It's not the first ever bait caster I've ever got, but this is a really old bait caster. This bait caster is the one I used in my state championship in high school, came in 10th place in. I would have no use for it anymore, so I just, he just, oh God, have I broke it? I just retired him right here for now, so yeah. So, all right, guys, thank you for watching the video. I know it's just a short, sweet video today, and just want to show you kind of like the day in the life of what things were going on. I'm probably going to do more of these like little vlogs and just, uh, just to get something posted out for you guys, some more content. But if you enjoyed the video, please make sure you like it. Please like it. It really helps the channel. It gets us out there on the algorithm a lot better, and more people can watch the videos. Subscribe to the channel, most importantly, and check me out on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.